Hello, 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 Mosaic Souls. Mosaic Souls, this is Rachel Alexander, artist and Mosaic Soul mentor, aka spiritual teacher with flair. And today I wanted to talk about how to permanently get off the worry train or the stress train. And uh, the thought occurred to me because um, it's something that I've transcended in many ways and my, my, my spirit fam, my divine team has definitely helped me. Um, and it's a very interesting place to be because when you get off the worry train and you get onto the train of peace, tranquility and inner knowing your divinity and your well-being, life just starts to seem easy you know how like think about like those old people right <laughs> the old people who are like you know 80s and their 90s and they they're not worried about life you know like the ones who are just like chilling they're like mm, everything's okay they've been on the planet for so many years they're like everything always turns out fine they ain't worried about nothing everything just turns out fine it's that kind of confidence and inner knowing that all is well that um that we can all actually get to before we turn 80 and 90 <laughs> you just kind of you can get there um you know it doesn't matter what age you get there honestly but i'm just saying how do you get there right so when you have thoughts of you know the three biggest concerns that we are always worried about is money relationships or career or um you know uh, you know, wealth, health, and love, right? So our health, right? So, you know, when we have thoughts, like say, like um, when we're like oscillating back and forth between different vibrations versus staying in the vibration and the inner knowing of who we truly are, how do we get from this oscillation period to just staying? How do we get off the worry train, you know, while we like, basically we have one foot and knowing who we are and yet we keep worrying about our human lives right like we have one foot saying okay i'm a divine being yet i have bills to pay i don't know how i'm gonna pay my bills or i'm a divine being why is this person causing me so much angst or i'm a divine being how am i going to heal myself right like all this kind of like worry and kind of second guessing ourselves like am i really go okay that kind of if feeling where there's a part of you that the the grander part of you the aware part of you that knows that everything is cool yet your human aspect is still in the worry train like am i really okay you're checking th these are signs that you're checking you're not quite off the worry train like you're always checking to see if everything's going to be okay you're checking your bank account you're checking to see if you're going to have money to pay the rent or you know you're checking to see if you said something wrong to that person or if you if if everything is okay with you and your loved one or you know you're constantly checking the scale trying to see if you lose weight lost weight or not or you're constantly you know overly uh, like overly obsessed about how many calories you're eating you know whatever your worry is whatever the area is that's how you know you're still on the worry train right like there's this part of you that it's aware that i can be in bliss life can be easy and yet i don't quite believe it yet because i keep checking to see if i'm going to be okay right how do you get from there to this you know and one of the ways and it's it's just honestly it's a it's a practice and it's a cultivation of the inner knowing of who and what you truly are and i know this sounds like an oversimplification but i'm all about the queen of simplicity give me the quickest easiest fastest path to peace and well-being and harmony and love and joy and i'm there all day so what do i mean by cultivating a constant awareness of who you truly are right so when we're in this kind of phase of oscillation of checking to see if we're okay we're still on the worry train basically we're in this kind of condition pattern of old vibes right we're in this kind of 
like maybe we had a spiritual awakening. Maybe we had, you know, a, a moments of pure bliss, moments of really feeling our the love that we truly are or really having like these breakthroughs. And then all of a sudden we're back in the human stuff. Right. <laughs> and th the way that we constantly uh, stay, get off permanently, get off the, the worry train is to constantly create a habit and a practice of remembering who you are, of cultivating the inner knowing of your divinity. You got to think about it. You've been on the planet for 20 plus, you know, years of constant worry of this society that is lived in lack. Like we have years and years of training where we woke up and we said, okay, what is the first thing I have to do? The first thing, and that was something I, I noticed the other day is that so often everybody is worried about money. Everything that we do, a lot of people is is focused around money like we're all worried about money like so many people are we wake up and we go to jobs that we technically don't like or do like or whatever and but we like we treat ourselves like slaves because we haven't technically and there's nothing wrong with it i'm not like bashing it it's totally a perfectly fine existence there no no reality is invalid so but we, I just noticed it because it was like everything that we do is from this place of lack, you know? So how do you get that, get off the lack train? How do you get off out of the scarcity train? Well, if you spent so many years practicing this lack vibration, not to say it's going to take years to get you to, you know, switch. You can literally switch in, in a span of seconds, right? But it's staying there, right? That's the, that's the thing. And really on a human level, you have to practice, you have to actively cultivate an awareness around who you truly are, right? So when the thoughts like, oh, okay, shit, um, I have bills to pay at the end of the thing, I don't know how the money's gonna come. When you have that thought, you'd be like, and wait, who am I? Who are you, Rachel? Who are you, you know, what, where your name is, right? Like, who am I? I'm a divine being. And because I'm a divine being, that means that I'm the one creating my reality. And because I'm the one creating my reality, that means there's infinite parallel realities that I have at my disposal in this moment in time, which also means that there's a version of me that has everything that I desire and more, and I never have to think about it, which also means that my well-being is assured. I can be like them old people chilling, having a good time because everything always turns out okay. Think about it in your life too, in this moment. Think about in this moment, when has things never, like, even when it seemed like crap hit the fan, all hell broke loose, we all, you know, we are the ones giving things meanings. You heard me talk about that before. But even when it seems like nothing is going your way, doesn't it always seem to turn out okay? Just think about it. You didn't have the money to pay the rent, or you got in a fight with your boyfriend or girlfriend, or, you know, you had this health thing, but then, you know, four weeks later, you, you healed from it, right? Doesn't everything always seem to turn out okay? And even if it don't turn out okay, you a divine being. So if you die, truly there is no death. <laughs> All is well. It's like, whatever, like you're an infinite being. So like, you don't have to die to experience, you know, well-being, but it's just like, how do you get to that place? How do you die before you die, right? Which is dying to the old self, the old conditioning. And it's just really practicing, creating a habit around remembering who you are. And when you create a habit around remembering who you are, then that habit becomes your new modus operandi. It becomes your new standard way of living. Nothing flinches you. You like, okay, shit hit the fan. You like, whatever it'll come down <laughs> you're like oh everything everything's gonna be okay oh i got bills to pay i don't got the money in the bank it seems like there's lack in this moment but i know because i live in a vibrational reality and there's infinite possibilities there's a vibrational reality where i got more than enough or you know like so it's gonna manifest somehow and i'm just gonna with me i'm gonna follow my bliss i'm gonna keep doing me whatever i'm not gonna sit here and worry about it i'm not going to continually beat myself over the head so when these thoughts occur you have the power to give them no attention you have the power to give them no relevance to your life experience you know and that's how you shift from that oscillating moment is that when these thoughts occur when these emotions or these habit patterns start to arise and you find yourself getting carried away with the the worry current or the worry train you can be like, oh, 
uh, attendant, I I don't I'm on the wrong dang on train. I ain't supposed to be on here. Wait, let me get off. You know the worry taxi. Uh, let me get off here. I'm gonna go and take another taxi. Okay, you have the power to be like, okay, hmm, that is not in alignment with my divinity. So I'm not gonna play with you today. I'm not gonna play with all your negativity and lack based scarcity thinking. Because guess what? I'm a divine being. You can literally do that at any point in time. So <laughs> that's how you move. How do you permanently get off? Is that when these things happen is because we've had so much momentum. Practicing lack, practicing worry. Every day you get up, how often are you in love and abundance? How often are you thinking positive thoughts? How often are you thinking or being in a state of gratitude? How often are you in appreciation for just being on the planet and recognizing that, oh, I'm on a playground. I get to do what I want to do. Okay, I can play around with some things. How often are you, and it doesn't have to be that way. Everybody has their own expression, right? But how often are you just in a state of inner knowing and peace of your well-being that your well-being that you always gonna be good even if you die you're gonna be good <laughs> so like death is inevitable but like you know what i mean like how do you get to that place of flow just ease and flow peace and flow and it's just honestly cultivating a practice and a habit around remembering who the heck you truly are, right? So if we practice so much of thinking that we're only humans, that we're at effect to what's going on in our lives, that we're at effect to, you know, the things that are are that are occurring in our reality and that we have no say in it, that we're not creating it at all, that I'm only 25% the creator of my reality. When we end that playground, then of course you're going to continuously oscillate back and forth between I'm happy, but I'm not manifesting what I want. I'm happy, but I'm not manifesting on what I want. I'm in peace, but I'm not, you can't be in peace and happiness and not, and also in worry, fear, scarcity, and lack, you know, the, the two don't, uh, you can't experience both of them at the same time. You're either oscillating back and forth between the two. And the way you stop oscillating is every time those thoughts occur, you give it no relevance. You can shift your vibe at any time. So you have to actively practice. You have to actively cultivate an inner awareness. And it, it sounds like work, but it isn't. Honestly, I mean, it might feel like work in the beginning because anytime we experience something new, it, it seems foreign. It might seem hard. But it's just that simple shift of awareness, simple shift. Who am I? What am I believing about this moment? How, you know, if I'm feeling fear or if I'm feeling this must mean that my perception is out of alignment with the perception of my soul, with the part of me that knows that everything is good, everything always turns out fine. So if my perception is out of alignment with the, the real me, then all I have to do is shift my perception. And you create a practice around shifting your perception from moment to moment to moment until your perception is constantly in alignment with your divinity is constantly in alignment with who and what you truly are which is a divine being which is infinite intelligence being expressed into your little human form your fractal of divinity you know your expression called you of the divine that you are this human form that you are you have the power to shift out of that at any point in time so that's really how do you that's how you get off the the, the worry train the worry taxi the lack and scarcity land that's how you get off those rides <laughs> you start playing on the abundance free feel free free feel ride so i hope that this video has been helpful and if it has definitely give it a thumbs up and i want to share that i am in the process of editing my new freebie called from fear to love it's a mini course to help you shift from fear-based way of thinking i go way more in depth than i did in this video but i it's this piece that takes you through active exercises to actually help you shift out of fear-based way of thinking into love-based way of being and if that sounds like fun for you or if that sounds like something you want to explore definitely check it out i'll put the link below or somewhere on this video just check it out or somewhere in the description or something so um hopefully by the time i post this video it'll be done and it'll be out so i'm excited to put this out in the world and i hope that you had an awesome day and remember to always flow with what feels good and let go of what doesn't because you are divine you are a divine being and your soul knows what exactly you need 
along your journey to continue to help you thrive. So remember to vibrate higher and I'll talk to you later. Peace, love and light.